Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video we're going to enable two-factor verification on a Google account as well as a UNMS server using the Google Authenticator app. All right, I guess we should start off by asking the question, what is two-step verification? According to Wikipedia, two-step verification or two-step authentication is a method of confirming a user's claimed identity by utilizing something they know, such as a password, and the second factor other than something they have or something they are. An example of a second step is the user repeating back something that was sent to them through an out-of-band mechanism. Or the second step might be a six-digit number generated by an app that is common to the user and the authentication system. Simply put, two-step verification adds a second layer of security to your accounts. You are required to sign into your account with a password and a randomly generated PIN code that only you would know. This second layer of information makes it tougher for someone other than yourself to gain access to your accounts since both pieces of information are required. The PIN code is usually received via a text message or a phone call or can be generated by an app on your own mobile device. Even if someone knows your password, they can't access your account without the PIN code. All right, guys, so now you have a basic understanding of two-step verification. I'm signed into a Google account, a demo account on the left side of the screen, and I have the Google Authenticator app running on my iPhone on the right side of the screen. That being said, it's available for Android devices as well, so download it for your preferred device. As you can see, I have a couple of accounts already set up, which is why you see codes there. If you pay attention, you'll notice that those codes get refreshed every 30 seconds, which is good. It means that each time you make a request, you're getting a code that is unique. Let's get started with the walkthrough process. The first thing we need to do is come over to our account icon, click that, and then click on Google account. On this page, come over to sign in in security and click on the first link, signing into Google. From here, come over to password and sign in method. Come down to two step verification, which is currently off, and click here. On the next page, we're going to begin to protect our account with two step verification by clicking get started. Next, we're going to enter our account password and then click Next. Here, you'll enter your cell phone number, then choose how you wish to receive your codes via text message or phone call. I'm going to leave it set to text message and click Next. And now I should receive a code on my phone and we'll enter it on this screen. 258317. next and we receive a confirmation message that we can go ahead and turn on two-step verification so let's do that now and you can see here we've verified that we can receive pin codes from Google using our cell phone number now for this video we talked about using Google Authenticator to generate our codes so if we want to do that we're going to come down to the Authenticator app and click on Setup. And we're going to get codes from the Authenticator app and it's asking what kind of phone. So I'm going to click on iPhone because that's my phone. And I'm going to click Next. And now we're presented with a barcode. So with our phone, we're going to add this third account by clicking the plus sign in the top of the Google Authenticator screen and then clicking on Scan Barcode at the bottom. And then we're going to scan the code on the screen and you can see it's added the third code for my demo account at the bottom of the screen. So now we've done that successfully. Let's click on next and we're going to enter the code that we see at the bottom of the screen. And I'm going to say verify and we've received the confirmation message. So I'm going to go ahead and say done. And now we've completely set up 
our Google account so that we can receive our codes right from the Google Authenticator app. And the nice thing about this is your phone doesn't even have to be online to generate the code. So next, I'm going to come over and sign out of my Google account so that we could put this to the test. Okay, so I'm currently signed out of my demo account. Let's sign back in. I'm gonna enter my password and I should be prompted for a code. And there it is, two-step verification. Get a verification code from the Google Authenticator app. There it is on my screen. I have 30 seconds to enter that code. And we're gonna say next. And now we're successfully signed into the account. Okay, so now on to enabling two-factor verification for the UNMS server. So I'm signed into my UNMS server, and the process you're gonna see is very similar to that of enabling it on a Google account. We need to come down to the settings icon and click that, and then come up to the users tab and over to enable two-factor. Here we're presented with a barcode. So now we're gonna jump back over to the Google Authenticator app on the phone and click the plus sign in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and then click on scan barcode. We're going to scan the barcode on the screen. And now you can see it added the UNMS server at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And now it's asking me to enter the code. So I'm gonna enter the code that I see for the UNMS server. And it also wants me to add the UNMS server's password. So now that I've done that, let's click verify. And you are all set. From now on, you'll use Google Authenticator to sign into your UNMS account. So let's sign out and give it a test. Okay, so here's my username. Oops. And here's my password. When I click sign in, I should be prompted for a two-step verification code. So 413710 verify. And there we go, guys. Successful setup of two-step verification on not only a Google account, but a UNMS server. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. A simple guide to setting up two-step verification on a Google account and the UNMS server. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And I want to thank all of you for using my Amazon affiliate link. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.